Hello everyone. Today I would like to share with you how to use the C++ Boost library in R via RCPP. If you have RCPP installed in R, then you should have this package as well, BH. It stands for Boost Header Files. If we look at the description, we can find that there are several libraries from Boost are included. And today we are going to use this one, the algorithm. So let's get started. Firstly, let's click New, and then select C++ files. We will include a header file from Boost. Its name is Boost Algorithm, and then String.hpp. We will also include two namespaces. One is Boost Algorithm. And the second one is just the standard namespace. And now we'll create a function. And the purpose of this function is to delete the nth appearance of, of a substring from a string. And the string can be a single string or a vector of strings by using vectorization. So the return type is a vector of string. And the name of the function we call it remove certain string. And the first parameter is a vector of strings. We call it strings. The second parameter is a reference to a constant string, which is a, which is a substring. So here should be constant. And uh, the third parameter is a type of SEXP. It stands for S expression. It's a pointer to all the object types in R. So it's kind of similar to pointer to void in C. And so we need to convert it to a to an int by calling the, the function template in RCPP. And the function template is as int. And we have to take away one from it. The reason is because in, in C, the vector starts from zero, while in R, the vector starts from one. So we need to take away take away one to make it consistent. And next we get the length of the vector. So length equals strings dot size. And then we look through each element in the vector. So i from 0, and then i is less than the length, and then increase r, i each time. So within the loop, we delete the, the nth appearance of the substring by calling this function, erase nth copy. This function is from boost. So we take the string, think string, and then we delete the substring from the position provided by the user. So when the loop is done, we return the strings. And now we can create a text function. Here we copy the function name. And I provide a vector of strings. So the first element is called boost. And the second one is libraries. And the one we, the substring one we want to delete is s, and we want the appearance to be the first one. So let's test it by calling the source. As firstly, we need to save it. So we call it string handling. Dot cpp. Okay, now it's sourcing into the the environment and takes a little bit of while. Okay, it's done. So now let's look at the output. The first one is boot, which means the s is deleted, and the second output is library, and the s is deleted as we expected as well. So now let's do another test. So. Let's do remove certain strings, and this time I just provide a single, a, a single string, 
which is library and I want to delete I from the second appearance and let's see so the first I is still kept and the second I is deleted as we expected so that's it if you have any comments or suggestions please please leave them below the video and thank you for your watching